Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again for Tech Tip Tuesday. This week I want to show you how we can migrate an existing Angular application into an NX workspace while preserving Git history. So I have a standalone existing Angular app called To Do UI, and I want to show you guys how to move forward and start building a backend for that app and manage both back and front end in my mono repo using NX. So to do this, I'll start by creating a new NX workspace with an empty backend app of our choice. I'm going to name it to do monorepo. And I'm going to start out with a nested application. So my NX CLI has now generated a workspace with a lone nest backend application. Now I want to import my existing to do UI Angular app. So at this point, I'm going to use the NX CLI to add a new Angular boilerplate project. And to do that, I first have to install the Narwhal Angular application dependency in my mono repo using npm or yarn. So I'm going to run ins npm install save dev Narwhal Angular. And after that, I'm going to use NX to generate my boilerplate Angular application into which I'm going to migrate my existing app, making sure that I'm matching my styling and routing configurations. So NX has now generated a new boilerplate Angular project and a corresponding end-to-end -end project in my workspace. So before I start my merge, I'll commit my changes. And then I will, I will add a remote called to do UI. And I will use the GitHub URL for my existing app. Once I've done that, I can fetch the remote. And after that, I'm going to merge the master branch from that new remote while using the allow unrelated histories flag. So as you can see, at this point, I have some merge conflicts that I have to resolve. So for the purpose of brevity, I'll skip over that here, but when migrating, you should take some time to review your configuration and package.json files so that they're set up correctly. And since these will vary depending on how your existing project set up, it might take some time. In my case, for example, I'm going to have to take that angular.json from my existing project and move all my build configuration into the workspace.json. So once I've resolved all my merge conflicts and deleted any unnecessary files, the next step I'm going to take is actually to move my source folder from my existing standalone project that I've merged in from my remote into the to do UI NX workspace project. So first I'll delete the source folder that my boilerplate Angular application generated for me. And I'm going to take this source folder and move it into that project folder there. So I've migrated my standalone app into the workspace. And now I can start to leverage NX tooling to run build and serve targets for both my backend and frontend apps. For example, I can run serve targets for all my apps in parallel using the run many command. Like this. So I can give it the all flag, the parallel flag, and that's going to run both my backend and my frontend at the same time. So I can develop both here locally. So to conclude, I'm going to actually finish off my merge by making a final commit, merge to do UI. And if I check my Git tree there, we can see that my Git history from my existing project to do UI master has been preserved in its totality. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this tip helps you guys out migrating some uh, existing projects to your NX repos. See you uh, in the next Tech Tip Tuesday.